I happen to be fond of beer. Spent the last few years running a gastro pub. Oh, you did? I'm gonna crush this. So, if you tell me to knock a cute blonde out of the park with a phenomenal dish, you don't gotta tell me twice. Morning, let's go. Okay, so I thought I would get your mind going early this morning. Look at this amazing table of ingredients. What I'd like you all to do now is to think of something delicious based on the ingredients in front of me. Chef. Chef. Let's go. <laughs> At least. OK. I do take it seriously when it's game time. I start automatically thinking what I'm going to do. Can I get past yeah. you? <clears throat> Doesn't that smell amazing? There's so many different grains, fruits, oils. I really have no idea what's going on. Everyone's got an idea? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good. Back in line, please. Whatever it is, I need to step up and show Chef Ramsay that it wasn't a mistake to keep me here. Paul, oh, what would you make? Grilled swordfish, blood orange reduction. Leaf. The fresh berry, zabayon sauce, and whipped cream. Jonathan. Honey glaze, pork tenderloin. All interesting thoughts. But I'd like to get the opinions of two experts who are specially skilled at mixing the ingredients in front of me. Hallie, Christina. Morning, ladies. Morning. Morning. Please, come in. <laughs> How are you, my darling? Great. Ooh, good to see you, too. Now, ladies, take a quick look at the ingredients and tell us what you would do. We'd make beer. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies would answer beer to just about everything, right? That's true. So, these two ladies are beer sommeliers. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Give me an example in terms of how we can use beer with the ingredients in front of us. You can do like a baby back ribs, braised in barley wine. Definitely. Rosemary thyme beer bread. A salad with beers of vinaigrettes. Jonathan, funny how you've just woken up all of a sudden. <laughs> she had me at baby back ribs. <laughs> OK, for today's challenge, you're cooking with... <laughs> Mia. Gotcha. <laughs> when they said beer, I was like, ugh. That's the last thing I need. Ladies, please. Hot chicks and beer. Let me tell you something. This doesn't suck. That's exactly mm. how I like my beer, chef. <laughs> Listen, Gaffey, because each of you will be creating your own special dish using one or more of the beers. Excited? Yes, chef. The time starts now. Each chef has just 45 minutes to create a dish featuring one or more types of beer. It's actually pretty refreshing for a stop. Chef Ramsay has designed this challenge to test the chef's creativity. Excuse me, Natalie. I'm going to try some of this Belgian wine here. And their ability to create a well-balanced and delicious dish. I've got a thousand ideas already, man. Using a unique ingredient. Jonathan, a little less time drinking and more time <laughs> cooking would be greatly appreciative. <laughs> yes, chef. Oh, my god. I want everything. 42 minutes left to go. Come on, ladies. I want to win today. Yeah, let's get this done. Jonathan, time to shine. Let's go. Oh, I'm fixing the shine, sir. Ladies hungry? Yes. <laughs> I happen to be fond of beer. Spent the last few years running a gastro pub. Oh, you did? I'm going to crush this. So if you tell me to knock a cute blonde out of the park with a phenomenal dish, you don't got to tell me twice. Don't forget, when you're thinking about your dish, take colors, too. Oh, definitely. Colors. Definitely. You got ladies to impress, you know what I'm saying? 20 minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Oh, boy, let's get cranking. While Tommy seems focused on the task at hand, Krupa is anything but. Krupa, what are you doing? I've got a rabbit braising in um, um, raspberry, uh, the Belgian white. If we're going to win any challenge, each individual person has to be running at 100%. And Krupa's running at about 50% right now. Uh, wait. What are you saying wait to? Oh, uh, Elise. I mean, Jean. Carrie. Wow. Five minutes. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Pineapple. I want to win, ladies. Come on. 30 seconds to go. Oh, my God. Three, two, one, and serve. Right, red team, blue team. I want all of you to rank your dishes from one to five. Red team, you have one extra in your team, so you're going to drop one. Start now. Let's go, guys. That doesn't have any flavor to me. This is chicken? Chicken. That's a funny looking chicken. It's rabbit. Rabbit, chicken, whatever it is. Krupa shit was nasty. We're Drop the rabbit. One. I'm beyond pissed off. My dish was not the worst. Ooh, this sauce is weird. Whose is this? It's mine. That's five. That's five? That's five? Really? That broth's weird. I have something weird in What's there. in the sauce? The beer, chili. That's what it is, the beer. So five, right? That's what we're doing? He wants in the broth a blast. Broth is five. 
I was a little bit surprised that Paulie was ranked last, because Paulie's a pretty good chef, but his dish was bad, man. Red team, whose dish are you dropping? Elise. Krupa's dish, because it's a little tough and under seasoned. Carrie, why'd you look so pissed off? I didn't think mine deserved fifth. Hey, listen, the good news is, at least you made the cut. Hey, that's right, chef. Paul and Carrie, let's go. Let's go, Carrie. Well, let's go, uh, Paul. Go blue. Let's start off with the ladies first. Carrie, please. I did filet. I marinated it in the stout beer. Um, with my sauce, I used the raspberry. Poured a little of the stout in there as well. I think it's delicious. I think you ladies will definitely enjoy it. You can really taste the raspberry in there. Mm -hmm. You can feel the beer in that dish. I could see how you'd be a little burned that this is hey, fifth choice. Well done. Thank you. Brilliant. Paul, please. What is that? Grilled piece of salmon with hefeweizen broth. I was a little shocked that my team felt that my dish was the weakest. Salmon's beautiful. Mm. Time to taste the broth. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. She's <laughs> just like dying over there. Ah, that's bitter. Yes. Uh, ladies, I'm sure we're all in agreement. The yeah. point has to go to Carrie. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Great Thank job. You, I'm not just a pantry girl. <laughs> Carrie, that was, for me, the best dish you've ever cooked. OK, in fourth place, Jonathan and Elise, let's go. Elise. What I made for you today is salmon, cooked it in the Belgian white beer. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Unlike the last two dishes, it's a little more lighter, which is nice. I try to go lighter because I know, personally, when I drink beer, I'm full. Oh, look at the size you use. No wonder. <laughs> Not even pint size. <laughs> Jonathan, please. Ooh. Ooh, wow, it's not bad. When Jonathan pulled his lid off his dish, I was like, <gasps> what is that? Officially, he's got that sort of pineapple gone wild. Fuck me. It was fruit salad on meat again. Call this the uh, punch drunk chicken. You open a can of pineapple and you stick it on top of a chicken. A lot of chefs are fascinated with proteins. You are obsessed with fruit. Explain to the ladies what the dish is, please. I have a pan-seared chicken breast. I incorporated my raspberry lambic into my pineapple and bed of hash. It's a pretty tasty dish. It's sweet. Too sweet? Yeah. The thing about good beer is the balance. And so I just think that this is just missing a little bit of that balance. Uh, ladies, um, red team or blue team? Red team. I Thank agree. You. Congratulations, Elise. Good Thank job. You have Elise. Man, I'm, I'm about to the point where I'm ready to say, fuck using some fruits, but you know what? Inside, I can't let that happen. I love fruit, man. OK, 2-0 to the red team. Let's go, Jennifer. With the red team leading 2-0, to zero, Jennifer's Hefeweizen chicken and sausage stew, I mean, visually, it looks like a plate of leftovers, is up against Natalie's chocolate stout filet. Honestly, it's almost like you're drinking a beer. And Natalie triumphs over Jennifer. Good job, girl. With the red team's lead cut to one. Go, Liz. Elizabeth's amber mussels and clams. Like salty. Yeah, it is salty. Faces off against Will's lambic-infused venison loin. I think it's delicious. It has everything, that dish. Yeah. And the blue team's comeback is complete. Hold up, kids. Hold up. With the score now tied. Blue team, red team, let's go. It all comes down to the top ranked dishes from each team. Jamie's for the red team and Tommy's for the blue. Jamie, please. I marinated the duck in the Belgian white Ooh. with some garlic and shallots, and then the duck has a glaze of the raspberry beer reduction. Ladies? It's good. It's interesting. Yeah. Different. I mean, the duck is uh, delicious. I was hoping somebody would do duck with the raspberry lamb. Yeah, <laughs> Tommy did a duck with the raspberry lamb. Did he really? Did the same dish? Yeah. Very good. Great job. Thank you. OK, Tommy, please, where are the ladies? I did the duck as well. Let me show you how it's done, Jamie. All right, check it out. Here's what we did here. Oh, my gosh. I boiled my purple potatoes down to stout. Then I just put a side of Brussels sprouts, which were uh, cooked down in your Hefeweizen. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, rock on. That's pretty good. This has a depth. Mm -hmm. The meat has a saltiness, mm -hmm. and you still get the sweetness from the lambic. Good job. I mean, really good job. Back in line, both of you, please. Thank you, ladies. Good job, Tom. <laughs> I was just trying to flirt a little bit. The uh, cute brunette seemed to enjoy my company. Two good dishes. I mean, this is going to be really difficult. Going down. One dish had an edge. Congratulations goes to... Blue team! Yeah! It was like a ton of bricks just fell on us. Again. 
right. Good job, Tommy. Good job, Tommy. Here you go, guys. Good job. Hell yeah. I aced it. This definitely proves the fact that I'm just the most awesome of anyone in the world. Ladies, um, a big thank you, as always. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Such a pleasure. Great job. Mm -hmm. Best wishes. See you again.